Hi, I hope you are doing great and today I have Tivo Tarantula, a DIY 3D printer kit. So let's see how good it is for $200. So let's get started. The box arrived within the 7 days from the China and it was pretty well packed with no damage whatsoever. And if you are following me on Instagram then you might have already seen this picture. Inside the box I have received two rolls of PLA. I don't know why both of them are PLA. One should be ABS for the testing and the other components for the belt. One thing I am already liking about this kit is the heated bed which has a very nice Tivo Tarantula branding and is also good for the printing surface. It also has insulation on its back so it can achieve a higher temperature. In the second layer of the box, there were lots and lots of parts for the build, including the acrylic parts for the joints and the universal power supply. So you can switch between 110 volts and the 220 volts and the stepper motors which were Tivo branded. Each and every bag were labeled so you can check the manual for the bag number and start the build with the parts. And the last layer contained all the aluminium profiles, acrylic parts for the LCD and the controller and the main controller board itself which will control the entire 3D printer. Let's start with the build. First I mounted the chassis as the manual said and still managed to mount the Y-axis carrier profile in the wrong ways. After which I mounted the heated bed carrier and it uses eccentric nuts which we can use to tighten the wheels as per our need. Then I assembled the x-axis carrier which also uses eccentric nuts in combination with spring washer for the tight fitting. Following to which installing the y-axis carrier with the stepper motors and this part was done. Then I added the belt for the y-axis carrier and hold it in place with the help of zip ties. Mounting the x-axis carrier was by far the most simplest one. Just make sure distance between both of them is proper. Now it was time to mount the z-axis stepper motor and its coupling which needs to be done precisely. Then I mounted the heated bed on the y-axis carrier following to which I mounted the printing nozzle. Then I mounted the extruder motor and the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis and position switches. After mounting the main controller board and finishing the wiring for the motors and position switch and the printing nozzle, the build was complete. Now it's time for the calibration of the printer. Just take a piece of paper and slide it between the nozzle and the bed so it can move just freely and make sure to do it for all the four corners of the bed and take your time as it is essential for the print. Then I inserted the filament into the extruder and printed this pool holder which I found on thingiverse.com to proceed with the benchmarking. For the benchmarking I am using this 3D Benchy boot so let's start.
didn't turn out to be a success. There were small errors, but that were due to poor cooling. That can be solved with the help of a cooling fan. And another print which I did was XYZ calibration cube, which turned out to be a success with no errors. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like this video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And do follow me on social media because I post a lot of stuff over there. And I will see you guys in the next one.